A few days ago, archaeologists in Peru have discovered a giant cat geoglyph on a hillside. This discovery once again shows the rich and varied cultural legacy of the area. This is the latest Nazca line to be uncovered in recent years, according to Peru's Ministry of Culture. The Nazca lines in Peru were created between 500 BCE and 500 CE. They are a group of mysterious and large geoglyphs made in the soil of the Nazca Desert in southern Peru. Outlines of animals, plants and incredible figures dating to pre-Columbian times. The cat, which, to be completely honest, looks like a doodle a kid made, was found while archaeologists were remodeling a natural viewpoint in the Pampa de Nazca. Natural erosion on the hillside had almost erased the ancient outline. Workers could barely see the cat. But after about a week's worth of conservation, the archaeologists restored the geoglyph. The feline outline dates from between 200 BCE and 100 BCE. It's among the oldest geoglyphs found at Nazca, and like the other Nazca lines, the cat is so big, it's better seen from above by a plane or a drone. The lines are between 30 and 40 centimeters wide, and the cat is 37 meters long. The cat's style indicates it was made in the late Paracas period, the culture that predates the Nazca culture. The Nazca culture began around 100 BCE. The cat has a profile with its head turned towards the viewer. The ears are up and alert. The tail is stretched out and it looks like the belly is exposed. The Paracas culture is well known for its depictions of felines on ceramics and textiles. The Nazca lines are recognized on the World Heritage List by UNESCO. The majority of the lines date between 200 BCE and 500 CE. But earlier lines made with piled stones date as far back as 500 BCE. Researchers have found between 80 and 100 previously unknown geoglyphs in recent years. All these newfound geoglyphs predate the Nazca culture. They are smaller in size, drawn on hillsides and clearly belong to an earlier tradition, archaeologist John Isla said, director of the Nazca Lines Conservation Mission at the Ministry of Culture. It might seem surprising that new designs are still being found, but we know more are out there, Isla told the local press. In the last few years, the use of drones, which enables us to take images of the hillsides, have made that possible. No one is sure why these incredibly huge symbols were etched into the desert, although recent studies have given us some clues, suggesting that they may have served as travel markers or that they were made to be seen by the deities in the sky. I'm curious to see what they will find next. If you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, and click the bell icon for notifications every time I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner or click the link in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. With a special thanks to my patrons, Richard, Barry and NGC6543.